I remember when I first opened up Logic Pro and I had no idea where to find anything. So I'm just gonna take it back to basics and show you how to apply plugins in Logic Pro X. Let's start with what are plugins. Plugins are tools that we use to shape and enhance our sound. You've got AU, all their units, which is what Logic Pro uses. Then you've got VSTs, virtual studio technology, which are your compressors, your EQs, delays, and then you've got VSTIs, which is your virtual studio technology instruments, samplers, drum machines, contact, soft synths, all them type of things that we use to create music. So let's get into applying the plugins. So you've got Logic Pro open. You can choose either software or mic or line. If you choose mic or line, you're not going to be able to apply your instrument. So let's just go with software instrument first, because then we can apply effects to that as well. So over here on the left, you've got your inspector. If you press I on your keypad, you can open and close your inspector. Then on the channel, which is this part here, that's your that's your instrument. So anything you play in this area is going to be where you edit your instrument MIDI. We're not going to worry about that now. I'm just going to worry about this section here and start to apply some plugins. So if you want to get your instrument up, you go to this section here where it says instrument and you can find all your instruments here on the left. All your Logic Pro instruments will be up here on the left and then going down to AU instruments, which is your third party plugins. You will find them all along here in your drop down menu. Okay, so let's just choose an instrument. I'm going to go for Vintage Electric Piano. Click on that and we're good to go. So you got your instrument and all is good. So if you want to affect that instrument now with some audio effects, your audio effects section here allows you to get up all your, like I said earlier, your VSTs, the VST plugins, compressors, reverbs, EQs, delays, all the stuff that you use to enhance your sound. So you just click on anything that you want. So you just go through and choose whatever it is you want. Dynamics, EQ. So yours might look a bit different to mine. All that is is just I've just created some new folders and just, yeah. So it just makes it easier for me to find the plugins that I need. And if you want to do that, you just simply go to Logic Pro, Settings, Plugin Manager. And that little plus sign at the top there, you just click on that and give it a name. And once you've done that, you can go back to show all and just choose whatever plugins you want to drop inside that folder. So I'm just going to grab halftime DSR, click on done. And then when you go to your auto effects, you can click on that and you see your little folder that you just made. Simple as that. So if you want to choose a reverb to put onto that little piano piece that you just made, you can go to reverb, click on reverb. And then you've got your, your VST plugins ready to go. When you've opened your plugins, if you go to the presets, you will find some starting points, some good starting points for you. So if you're unsure on how to use the plugin, click a preset. And just go through the different presets. Once you find a decent preset, you just tweak it to however you like, just to make it fit with what you're working with. So the sound that you're working with. If you find something that you do like, and you make some changes, then you can just save it. Go to save as, put a name in, and then click on save. And it's the same with EQ, for example. So you can just go to EQ, choose Logic's EQ, channel EQ, and if you click on this area here where it says default preset, click on that, and you've got a ton of presets to get you started. Go for phone viewer. When you just insert the plugin, it's a good idea to, to A B it. Just turn it off, turn it on, and just to see how it's affecting your signal. So now you know how to apply plugins in Logic Pro X. Be sure to check out some of the other videos in the Logic Pro tutorial playlist. I'll see you in the next one.